morning. Willie members are here. One year umila, he bori rote, he boru, he boya, he bochiche. Odum, o trupum bekum wa, pataki. And this Odum, Shango, didn't want to work for his money. He wanted to live life and have fun. But he needed money because everything in life cost money. So Shango decided to go to the palace of Olofing and ask Olofing for a blessing. Shango made his way to the palace, but Olofing wasn't there for the moment. While in the palace, Shango noticed that Olofing had a sack of money in a room. And when no one was looking, Shango took the sack of money and left. When Olofing returned to the palace, he noticed that his sack of money was missing. So he sent for Orumila to perform Osodde, a reading. And Otrupumbekonwa was seen. And Orumila prescribed to Olofing, instructed Olofing to place another sack full of money in a room and to watch it inconspicuously from far. Olofing agreed, placed a sack full of money in a room and watched it from a distance. <clears throat> Shango decided to return to the palace of Olofing to again try to ask him for a blessing. This time Olofing was there. Shango met with Olofing and they talked for a while in the room and Olofing left the room for a moment. But Olofing was watching the sack of money from a distance, inconspicuously. So when Olofing saw that Shango was again reaching for the sack of money, he stopped him. He said, stop. Leave that sack of money alone and return the sack of money that you previously stole from me. So Shango agreed. From that moment, Olofing condemned or cursed Shango to always work twice as hard for his money. To always work for his money rather than take his money. This old doom teaches us that we can't just take what's not ours. We actually have to work for it and earn it. And that is our blessing. Willie members are here. One year, Rumi, he worried, he boru, he boya, he bochichin.